a new and different perspective every week on LEGO sets, news, media, and more, you're listening to the BCC Podcast. Today is Friday, April 5th of 2019, and you're listening to episode 189 of the BCC Podcast. I'm Ford, and here with me today is LQ. Welcome to the six-member BCC crew. Yes, we because, finally whittled down uh, our ranks. Because we—it's gonna be harder getting enough people on the podcast now without Leo, since he's went his separate way. Yes, we've gotten rid of Leo. He is dead to us. Totally dead. Okay, to no, us. he's not dead him. to us. We, he's just we, <laughs> we decided he it's time. He doesn't achieve that Did, status. No, we're okay. We people are gonna think take you too seriously on that. We're not mad at Leo. No, we're, we're not just actually not mad. here not more anymore. More so than usual. Leo is Leo is still one of our best friends. Let's be honest here. Maybe. Platonically speaking, <laughs> he's just a friend to us now. I'm Once also he could joined. Have been more, yeah. but... I'm also joined by Malaris. I think you guys are making light of this way too soon. Just light. It's not like it was a dark situation. It's there wasn't a falling out. <laughs> but everyone's gonna think there's a falling out. There's you know? just I mean, no like... falling out. Ask Leo. He's still on the server. He just doesn't have his rank anymore. I'm also yeah. joined by Clinda, and I have to ask her a question. Does what? Leo ever get mad, and could we ever stay mad at him? I yes I and honestly... yes. <laughs> Does he really? Does he? Re- yeah. I've never seen him mad. There's been three occasions. Legitimately mad? Yeah. Really? Yeah. Um, the dark I probably side of shouldn't Leo, say huh? them on air in respect for Leo. <laughs> but yeah, there's been dark three side. occasions. Has it, has it happened in public or just private? You know, it's Probably. never happened in public. We're too That's why. <laughs> or do you, do you mean our public or the real public? Our public. What, what oh, is yeah, the real public? Our public at least twice. <laughs> okay. One of the times was at me when I he got mad at me for saying I don't like exercising. <laughs> <laughs> In fairness, I also got mad at you when you said that you don't like exercising. Well, what's there to like? <laughs> Look, I don't like exercising, but I still do it sometimes. But anyways, uh... Leo got very mad at me then, and that's the only time I'll say because that directly involved me, so it's my story to tell. Alrighty then. <laughs> if it happened with me, I can say it. <laughs> Alright, well, yeah, enough of that. If there's questions, ask him on the server, ask Leo about it, whatever you want to do. He <laughs> just, you know, it was time. And I think he's doing something on his own channel now, but we're not yep. going to promote that. General rule of the BCC... If you're gone now, don't expect us to promote you anymore. Oof. Not like we by ever the way, promoted this is brought his... to you by our patrons. <laughs> yes. <laughs> are you serious? At the end of the episode. Also, I should probably clear this away right now. We are not hiring. <laughs> oh yeah. So well, that's don't try. That's a good point. <laughs> We're never hiring. Never. Well, I mean. <laughs> we don't hire people. We just absorb them. All right, I, so I can get behind that. We're going to start off with some news now, and uh, I don't like the order that we have down the news docket, so we're going to start with uh, Lego Kills DC Superheroes. Oh, man. So, wow. Lego Batman has a new wave of sets coming out on August. In August, sorry. Why do I say it's the okay. death of DC Superheroes? Well... Because in one of these sets, we have Shazam, instead of there being an actual Shazam set, which basically confirms there are no other DC sets besides Batman now. Hmm. That sucks. That, that, that's mm. bad. Yeah, it, it's, there's so much potential with other DC lines. But in general, Superheroes has not been that great with set designs at all lately. So. However, I do like these sets. Uh, really? Yeah. All right, well, let's go through them <laughs> all, and we can give our opinions on them. So the first up is the 76119, the Batmobile, Pursuit of the Joker. This is like one of my least favorite Batmobiles ever. So it's 342 pieces uh, for 30 bucks. This Thirty actually... dollars and only two minifigures, might I add. Yeah, so it's yeah. not like the best value, I mean, but I do think of... it's like 
It's it's a pretty it's, good looking Batmobile though. It's got a lot of bat stuff in it, but honestly, the the Batmobile itself just doesn't look good. It's too flat on the sides. It's supposed to be. Now this is very similar to the 1989 movie Batmobile. That's the point. And the it was very know, flat. 90s TV series. Look it. Series. Well, wasn't the 90s TV series based off the 89 movie Batmobile? Well, yeah, yeah. It's kind of yeah. like a com- it's, it's kind of like it's... a combination of both of those, but it's also like a smaller version of that. But the I thing was, is, no, that I think one, you say that 2000... one is really flat. This one is that 1989 movie one is way sleeker than this. The but I th- what they're going with here is they're going for like a smaller version of the 2006, the the big Batmobile that they did. It was like a UCS kind of thing. Which is why I it like better. this. It's why I like this. It's like a novelty thing. I just don't They're like it. Novelty like doesn't novelty. mean good, though. It doesn't, but I still like it. Now, I do kind of like the Joker minifigure. I think it's one of the better Joker minifigures we've got. But... But you don't like the Joker, so what does it matter? Yeah, I don't really like the Joker that much. Again... Also, they get rid of the turbine on the front of it, which was my favorite feature of that model of Batmobile. Uh, oh, wait, wait. No, it's still there. Mm, what? No, it's not. If you zoom in on the front, you can see there's little turbines behind the little bat symbol. So I guess I if don't... you just take that off, you could just get it. So it's removable? Yeah, I, guess, I think so. Yeah. Somehow I doubt that. No, really. If you zoom in on the picture, you can see them. I'm zooming uh, in. I, don't... I see what you're talking about. Maybe it's like bit. right underneath the wing portion of it. Maybe. Okay, also, there's, yeah, the Batmobile that. can only hold one seat. Is that a problem? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay. <laughs> So a Joker, I like the them. color for the Joker's outfit. I like the green and purple together, and that's cool. We went back to like a classic Lego Joker face as well, which is, I don't know, just notable. I'm also glad they used the classic hair for the Joker. I never liked it that much. I mean, instead of the 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 movie version, which the the oh, yeah, back that version, was... I never liked that one. I like the slicked back version the best. It just doesn't look like anything else from the Joker, you know? The Joker's had every hairstyle imaginable. Mm. Has he had a mohawk? Yeah. Yes, actually. When was that? Out of curiosity. Arkham? Uh, Sometime around 2010. Maybe. I think. Okay, 2010. (laughs) At least he's had it several times. That's kind of dope. I can't find a picture of it off. But yeah, I'm sure I recall him having a mohawk. Also, he has one in uh, Arkham Asylum. Yep. When he's all <laughs> roided up. Now I know. So, right, yeah. Let's move I'm on. I'm just not a fan of it. I feel like, I'll, especially two minifigures for $30 is a mm-hmm. ripoff, in my opinion. Right. Even if it has a good price-to-piece ratio. So, moving on. It's 76120. The Batwing and the Riddler heist. All right. Retails for 489 pieces at $50. Also, I don't feel like it's a great value. I mean, you get a lot of stuff. I just don't know if it's $50 worth of stuff. I like the new Riddler with the lime green. I think that's cool. I like that we get the most notable thing is Shazam is in here, which is kind of depressing, though, because Shazam doesn't get his own set now. (laughs) Um, there's a few notable pieces, like the grenade pieces on the stud launchers by the those cockpit. Are? They're yeah. grenades? Yeah. Oh. Alright. And I also believe hmm. that hook that the Riddler is using is a new piece. No, that's a crowbar. Yeah, it's just... No, 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 on the helicopter. Uh, it's attached to the safe. Oh, yeah, yeah. that's oh. a new piece. The crowbar might be new in gold, though. No, it's been in gold before. I feel like I've seen it in gold. Yeah. Though they, they made... Like a, a riddle of like cane top piece for oh, the yeah, movie they did. lines. I don't like, know why, they why they they're that not here. using that is beyond me. Mm. I do it like that they good. have Gordon in this set because he's. Yes. They've only made him like. Have we gotten a Gordon like that before? I no. can't recall. We got not a. Not young. I think we got a. Um, Dark Knight Rises Gordon. 
Oh, you know what also kind of annoys me? Um, have we gotten this Batman design before? Um, Maybe. I don't know. I feel like with all the Batman designs there could be, there really shouldn't be the same Batman in every single set. I think they could at least, like, vary them. Yeah, at least vary them a bit. Mm-hmm. Also, dual modeled legs. Dual molded legs, guys. Does this Come one on. not have it? Well, there'd be... No, oh, no, 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 no. He usually does have boots. Yeah. So, yeah, okay, that's cheap. <laughs> I mean, they started doing it in 2016. I think it was 2016. Something like that. Also, I should stopped. note that this is also based off the 1989 Batwing. Mm-hmm. One of the stupider bat wings. Also, that helicopter is ripped straight from the 66 set. You're right. It's just green. It's a green yeah. version of the Batcopter. Hmm. Yep, I don't like the correct. set anymore. <laughs> I just like it. I think the minifigure selection is pretty good in it. Mm-hmm. But that's a lot for a minifigure selection. Also, so you're that's basically only describing a typical superhero set. For $50, <laughs> yeah. Superheroes has issues, as I alluded to earlier. Mm-hmm. Well, it's dead now. <laughs> All right. Well, uh, it's yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So let's move on to the next one. So Another Bat Cave. Yes. Yeah. It's seven you know, six one two. We've two, never bat ever cave ever gotten a Bat invasion. Cave that I like. <laughs> never. None of them look cool. They're all bad. I think this one. Oh, hey, this one has that anchor piece again. I think it's decent. I don't think it's great though. This one is like the second appearance ever of Clayface. Yeah, I I still think the the original Batcave they did back in like what two thousand six was pretty good. Uh, I'm trying to remember how that looks like. Um, just remembering some of the features it had, like it had. Oh man. Had like Mr. Freeze and okay, like, a vehicle I'm for at him. It. Then it had, I think it had this like one a is suit better, changer, but it has not aged well at all. Oh, I'm, I'm <laughs> sure it hasn't, but like, I I feel like it was a bit more spacious with the play. But none of them actually that. look like something you'd want to display. Yeah, that's the problem. <laughs> yeah, they're all play sets rather than display sets. Like yeah. not even the '66 version was a good play. Yeah, good, I like, didn't think the 66 piece. was the... It's probably one of the better ones, but it's still... It, the thing is, it is a cave, and it's hard to pull that off. And I think what they're going for here is a slightly smaller version of the 66 version. Yeah, it's definitely closer Like, they even have the that. telephone. Come on. <laughs> is this the first appearance of Batwoman, or have we gotten that in another set? Uh, I, I feel like we've gotten last. her before. The... I haven't seen her I know we've had like pictures this, of her but... before, but... I don't remember what other set she was in. I don't remember. Who was we last got a year? new Two Face in here, which is at least better than the old Lego Two Face, though not mm. the best one. And then a kind of a Catwoman recolor. This time it's just black, which is proper is just Catwoman color. The movie one, but also uh, the other day though, me and Mal we found out something. Apparently there was a purple version of Catwoman in the nineties. Well, yeah. Yeah. So that's what they're basing the Batman one off. They of, based so. the animated mm-hmm. series version off of that one. No, the animated series nah, one was gray. she was gray. Was it gray? In that or one. Yeah, she was gray. Gray, definitely. Oh, all right. Yeah, that was before the stupid redesign. Have you seen uh, that? So I, it's awful. No. But it's also, like a we have another uh, black, Damian with Wayne like Robin. Eyes. It's weird. <laughs> Which so. I believe we've gotten that same Damian Wayne Robin before, haven't we? Yeah, I think so. In fact, oh, you get it twice in this good. wave. But the Batmobile thing in here looks like a mess. <laughs> it's the Bat Tank. Come on. Yeah, yeah, it's a mess. <laughs> we have more of the grenade and hook pieces, as Glenda pointed out here. I, it's kind of hilarious how you know all the Bat weapons pack with the shield and stuff. Apparently, they have to put an entire pack in every set that they use those pieces in. And I don't know why that is. Because why not? It's kind of bad. Why not? Okay, so yeah, (laughs) apparently uh, Batwoman has appeared before. Which set? Uh, The Batman Brother Eye Takedown. Trying to Uh, get... Can you post a picture? Yeah. Yeah. I don't know if this is... 
Yeah, that'll work. Okay, that was a... Okay, I slightly remember this one now. I forgot it was a thing. Yeah, that's the same Batman as we have now, so we didn't even get a new Batman for this year. Oh, well. Which, I prefer the all-black Batman to this one. This one doesn't even have leg printing I'd either. say, like, keep... Okay, all-black Batman, no yellow around the, the chest symbol, but keep the short ears cowl. I just realized there's not even printing... On the legs for this Batman. Nope. In fact, there's almost... I don't think any of the characters, in, except for Gordon... And that's another thing. If you keep it the dark, like, the black suit, you don't have to do dual molded legs to make it look good. <laughs> uh, that's It's annoying. a win-win. Come on. <laughs> All right, now we do have a couple more sets, but they're... Uh, what? Oop. Line They're formerly like, known as Junior Sets. That, well, there's one more that's tiny with Mr. Freeze, but it sucks. This is one of the ones I actually like a bit better. Really? Yeah. All Let right. Bring up the picture it's the, of it. It's the Mr. Freeze Bat Cycle Battle. It's a twenty. It's a twenty dollars set with two hundred pieces. Perfect ten cents per. It part also has ratio. three minifigures, which automatically makes it better than the Batmobile. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Well, one of them's a minifigure and a half. <laughs> but he does have a cape. Oh, true. But... It's also the same one as in the, the back cave. This is a new Mr. Freeze, though, and I'm not sure. That doesn't look like the same fishbowl piece. What is that on his I head? I think that's the, the, that's the Mysterio, Mysterio one. Dome. Oh, yeah. it is? Okay. Yeah. I was still going back and forth on whether it has a new piece for Mysterio. I'm wondering oh. how that one works, then. Just goes over they probably the head. have like a silver. There, I think just did a, on the a review of one of the Far From Home sets. Okay, I haven't Mysterio, seen those yet. Which I think they all have Mysterio, don't they? Yeah, something like that. I like the Mister Freeze minifigure here. It's a new take on it, and I like yeah. it. Of course, the Batman and Robin. Went, oh my goodness, my pop filter just fell off randomly. <laughs> 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 well, technical difficulties here. Please stand Like by. always, the vehicles are terrible. <laughs> this has been sitting here for years. Oh my, the pad is totally deteriorated. Yeah. Oh, good. <laughs> nice. Well then. On air breakage, everybody. Oof. I mean, they're going to need to get a new foam pad or a new pop filter. <laughs> but you just broke your earphones. I know. <laughs> just get a whole How new setup. Just get a left? whole new setup. That's all the you boom need. is still working fine, and the shock mount... The shock mount's very sturdy. I can't imagine that breaking. Good. All right, so anyone have any other comments on this Mr. Freeze set? Also, he comes with the grenade piece. Is that the same color as his other set? It looks lighter in this set. I don't know. I think they might... Were they silver before? They were silver, right? It looked like either silver yeah, or gunmetal. These gun look silver, metal. so... I don't know. It might be the same one. It'd be cool if it was in a different color here. All right. Almost back on. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Quick stall. Yeah, the junior sets are terrible. There we go. Sorry, kids. Well, the junior sets we don't look at for good builds. We look at them for the minifigures. Yeah, but they, they don't even have that great minifigures. Yeah, that's why we're going to trash them. Oh, <laughs> oh good. So, the first junior set, we have a Batman and the Joker escape. It's, that doesn't sound right. <laughs> <laughs> Batman escapes with the Joker? <laughs> That's what it sounds like. Batman and the Joker escape. But they leave so, Harley yeah, Quinn have... in the jail because... It's an old Harley because... Quinn design, an old Joker design. Is oh, wait, old... this, is the, this is the black suit Batman, which is different. Yeah, but it's got yellow emblem, which is bad. Yeah, I think we've gotten it before, too. And I don't understand why they're not continually to use the utility belt after the Batman movie. I think the problem with that is that you can't have it, like, sit down properly in those close-fitting vehicles. So, uh, correct me if I am wrong, but You're wrong. the Batman cowls from, like, the other set and this set, this one looks like the old mold compared yeah, it to... Is. Technically, it is. it's a second or third one but it's very similar to the old one the newer one the other ones were the bat fleck mold okay so i guess since it's juniors they're doing different mold or something they still have yeah. this they use it a lot but huh both of them have been in production for a long time now okay 
So yeah, this set sucks, and it's also very expensive for junior. Junior cuts are all very expensive for these big pieces. Forty bucks. Yeah. No way. Uh uh-uh. uh. No no. Uh uh-uh. uh. Where's a four on. or older year old gonna get forty bucks from? I bought my younger brother a forty dollar junior set. <laughs> <laughs> what set? I'm curious. How how dare you? Why? It was either the uh, Jurassic Park one or a Ninjago one. All right. Mm. Well, if it, if it's Jurassic Jurassic Park, then at least you get a dinosaur out of the deal. Like that's worth. And then the okay. other one we have is uh, Batman versus the Riddler robbery, which actually comes with a couple of cool pieces because you get a purple skateboard, which is not an incredibly common piece. Not and, especially these days, I guess. Are you saying it was common in other days? Uh, I feel like in like the two thousand, like yeah, but they wouldn't have been 2000s, purple then. They didn't use. They didn't even have this color purple. Then. Like not purple. Uh, I'm just saying skateboards in general. No, skateboards in general, yeah, but not skateboards in purple. As unrealistic as that ATM looks, it still looks like it could fit in a Lego City setting. That's well, because Lego City has plenty of ATMs to break into. Yeah. Lego City is full of crime. It, yeah, it's it a cheaper way to get the Joker it. or Riddler figure as well. Which again, I really do like that Riddler. I like the colors on it a lot. I like his bowler hat. It's nice. That's basically all I have to say. Anyone else have any comments on any of the Batman sets? They all suck. They're okay. <laughs> <laughs> I miss DC superheroes just because we got Flash sets then. Yes. Even if they weren't very good. At least they were there. <laughs> we need a bigger, we need a better variety of villains. In in both superhero lines, in general. Superheroes has a lot of issues with it, which we mm-hmm. can talk about like, on another episode. Like, the hero episode. selection is okay, at best. But the villain selection is terrible. Yeah, like, you only should... really, you only really get a good selection of villains when, like, there's a movie or something like that. Mm-hmm. And even then, it's not yeah. great. Really, the they should be treating all superhero sets like they treated the Lego Batman movie sets, which were way better. Mm-hmm. But they don't. I don't know. Do I they feel have, like, like the best superhero waves were the Lego Batman movie, and then there was like a 2015 Justice League thing to tie in with one of the games or whatever. And that came with I like can't. a like a slew of Justice League villains, like Brainiac and. Grodd and what, well, I think Grodd Dark was Side. I think Dark Side was also Flash. there. Dark Side, right? Maybe I, I don't guess? remember. Yeah, Dark Side. Was Captain Cold. Once. Again for the Flash. Yeah. yeah, it's like they had like a ton of really cool like, um, you know, villains for that. But that's why the Flash sets were the best. Mm-hmm. I still mm-hmm. need a Reverse Flash minifigure. Killer Frost. But. That was last year, though. The Killer Frost one minifigure wasn't that great, but... Lobo. We got Lobo. That was good. Yeah, those are some of the best DC superhero sets. And that was just last year. year, Yeah. Yeah. So it's like, we need more variety of villains. Not just, you know, not just these Batmans. Come on. (laughs) All right. Well, if no one else has any thoughts on that, we have uh, some news for the only interesting the people that... Follow the Lego executive hierarchy. Cool. So Kirk Christensen is stepping down as it's the, not Kirk. The board Christ- of Kirk is his middle name, not his first name. <laughs> oh well. Kirk Christensen, the, the first was like a long time ago. Well, the the, the <laughs> most recent one. <laughs> it's Child You're Kirk Christensen. I don't know how to pronounce these Danish names. So. That's why I only well, said Kirk. Them. Okay. <laughs> anyway, though, he's being succeeded by his son, whose name is Preparation. Thomas? Everyone. No, no, I lost it. I lost it. <laughs> no. Thomas. Yeah, Thomas. Thomas. Okay, I thought you were kidding. <laughs> no. I didn't think it would be Thomas. <laughs> Why would I just say other oh, blue Thomas? It literally like, says my son Paul Thomas. <laughs> I was reading the full press release. Oh, I saw a Batman set up on there. 
All right. Anyway, yeah. Um, this means very little. <laughs> okay. It's just interesting Kill. if you're following Lego. This is, I believe, the fourth or fifth generation. I should have reread this because I posted it like two weeks ago. A week ago. ago. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and yeah. Wow, this is way worse conversation material than I thought. <laughs> well, you planned this for like a week. Have or you two all ago. still not read Brick by Brick? No. Sorry. Read you what? <laughs> brick by Brick: How Lego rewrote the rules of innovation and conquered the global global toy industry. How do you have that whole tagline memorized? TTV. That's <laughs> they used disturbing. to mention it like every video. Yeah. Yeah, it's not every episode of their podcast that's turned off with. But yeah, no, it's a great book. It's a great book just for business in general. Business books are interesting. If you're into business. I mean, yeah. Yeah, no, every, every Lego fan should read it. I, you guys should all read it. I have a but, copy but of it. But I hate Lego. Yeah. Well, my copy is signed by all of TTV, except for some of the newer ones. I'll have to like take it's it in. It's not just signed by, by TTV, it's signed upside down. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, you guys need to read Brick by Brick. It's a very interesting book. It's not a hard read at all. Mm-hmm. All right. And it talks about Bionicle, and they call the... <laughs> um, darn it. What is the Mask of Strength's proper name? Picari. Picari? Picari? Yeah, Picari. They call it the Picari Nuva, the Mask of Life in it, though. <laughs> mm. <laughs> What? Yeah, there is a mistake with. It, wasn't the there editor. this whole thing in that book that I I could be misremembering, but wasn't there this whole thing about um how none of the people in uh that were involved with Galador have careers now? Because that's untrue. I don't know if that was in there, but that that is true. I've heard the statement before. Whoever said it, they are false. <laughs> they are absolutely false. When we, when we it was more of Ma- a joke when it when was When we made. were talking with Matthew Ewald at Brick Fair, he told us what pretty much everybody's doing. Though I only remember what he... No, they, and... weren't, it wasn't, they, were talk- they weren't referring to the show then either. They were talking about the designers more so. No, they were talking about the people in the show. They said none of those actors have, have careers anymore. That definitely wasn't in the book. <laughs> okay, then. I wonder if, where am I getting that from? Your yeah, there's a chapter about Galador. And... Mal, you should have read it because it's it, the book that solved the mystery of Le- why Lego Universe closed. Oh, oh. but I, I keep yeah, on... there's a whole chapter about Lego Universe. Well, don't reveal I it here. We gotta get the one book part of it was censorship old. from people building <laughs> things and creative builds. <laughs> no, that, that's not at all it. Uh, well, I heard that once, but okay. <laughs> That wouldn't have even made sense, though, because remember, you had to have your property approved before people could go to it. Yeah, well, <laughs> I guess that would make sense, but no. So, yeah, everyone watching, listening, everyone that's here, you need to read Brick by Brick, How Lego Conquered the Global Toy Industry. Oh, no, How Lego Rewrote the Rules of Innovation, Conquered the Global Toy Industry. I've read it twice myself, and I never read books twice. Whoa. That's what? how much I recommend this book. Wow. Well, I should give it a read sometime. Yes, you should. Yeah. Now let's move forward to Polybag News. All right. It's that time so, wow. of the year again. It's time for Polybag News, where we have a polybag. A polybag that we may never find in stores. But somebody <laughs> does, just not us. So, the only reason I wanted to include this is because it has Dummy from Iron Man in it. Now, here's the thing. It comes with an Iron Man in a quantum suit. And I think it also has him with, like, a neck bracket. So, you can, like, actually, like, put him up above the ground so he can actually fly properly. Uh, but Oh, dummy, yeah, it does. He has a little pole. This isn't the only Dummy you can get. He also comes in the Hall of Armor. So, that's totally oh, fine he? if you can't find this poly bag like me. I can never so find this poly bag is completely worthless, is what you're saying? Oh no, it's not. It has, oh no, like, it's nothing not worthless. Special in it. Yeah, this this <laughs> minifigure is exclusive to this. Though you could kind just, of, like, except you can create the minifigure. Yeah, you figure can very literally easily. just kit back. 
You can. You got uh, the end game minifigures kind of suck because yeah. Yeah. they could have done. Uh, you know, in the, <laughs> the movie, not every single general kind exactly of suck. Let's be honest here. <laughs> yeah, they do. Even they, if I do like, even if I do like the colors on that Quinjet, they do still kind of suck. Oh. Except for maybe the yeah. little machine buster. That one's okay. Uh, I don't know. No, I'm I like the Hall of Armor things. too because it... I like the Hall of Armor because it comes with a lot of Iron Man figure. Except the Igor is really ugly. Mm-hmm. And I was considering okay, so they have a newer co- oh. the newer prints of Brick by Brick. Wow, is the hardcover really? It's only three eighty eight <laughs> on Amazon. Hmm. Really. I have to get that like then. three dollars eighty eight cents. How long is the book? Yeah, three dollars eighty eight cents. You can also get the audiobook free with an Audible trial. Oh, nice. How long is it? The book. Uh, let me check. It's on my shelf over right. here. Cause, cause now you got me curious. Cause like now I have all this time to read stuff, so it's I mean, fine. It's a fairly thick book. <laughs> Well, they'll have a lot of history. The, the older cover is way nicer than this one. Here we are. That dust. <laughs> Very dusty. <laughs> About 300 pages, it looks like. Oh, that's not bad. I can read that in like two days. On and off. Yes, it's a very interesting book full of all sorts of history of the Lego company. And it also teaches you about how to run a business. All things I need to know. Yes. Same here, apparently. And there's lots of pictures. Mm -hmm. No, it's a great book. Every LEGO fan should read this book. Yeah, yeah. So, getting back to the Endgame sets, I was considering getting uh, the one with Captain America because I have the, the Age of Ultron Civil War Captain America minifig from, like, a polybag or something. And I always thought the head print sucked. And I heard really good things about the uh, the head print or the face print for the new one because it also has a helmet with the, the, the wings on the side. But then, to kind of segue to our next uh, little thing here that just came up, I think today, you just showed it to us today, uh, mm. Jangbrix tweeted um, a, a bit of a problem with the new... Uh, the new face printing. I think I've mentioned this before on the podcast. Yeah, so it's been a problem, like, in the past. It's not exclusive to faces either. It's it would, it would never light printing. Yeah, it's not just faces, brick. but it's, like, on any dark surface, right? But it's just... Uh, why would you do it with this? The, the thing is, I didn't originally even realize that that was supposed to be skin tone. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's, that's how, how bad, bad it is. is. But let's get Like, this is what... Let's think about this. This could very well be the last MCU Captain America we ever get. And this is the quality. <laughs> Going out with the work. you got the helmet, because you can put the helmet on the older figure. I don't think like, the eyes line up. They don't? I don't think they, they do. What? Good. Oh, you're right. These eyes are so much higher up. Yeah. they. Whenever they do those helmets, they have to, like, specially, like, space the features of the face out so that they fit well. Uh, they did it with, I think, the, the the Lego Batman movie figures that had that. Well, with him, like though. Bat, Batgirl and all that. Okay, with Batgirl, I don't know. Because I know for, they actually have for Batman, they have to lower his eyes. So it's yeah. A bar. Because he, yeah, he just has the bar there. So that's, that's okay. I don't even know why they include Bruce Wayne eyes on him, to, to be honest. I <laughs> Is this minifigure taller than the other one? Or is that an optical illusion? I it might just be that they're a bit uneven. I but think no, it's, it's the illusion set by the eyes because they're sitting higher uh, up. Because I'm comparing the eyes and the, the mouth. See, the mouth seems to be at the, about the same level, but the eyes are just... Yeah, that's the problem. See, I posted some pictures. <laughs> I, they're not, I'm not sure I'll put them in the podcast, but of the Hanzo minifigure as well. Oh, that looks bad. That yeah, if you know the terrible. printing on the chest, that's supposed to be the same skin as on his face and arms. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> it's bad. It that's ludicrous. Looks like he's got a skin disease or something. <laughs> Just 
Wow. Here, yeah, I think I'll let me put it up in the podcast for people to see. Yeah. Actually, that took a really nice picture. I'm surprised my phone never takes pictures that good. Well, it goes to the occasion. Yeah, so I was considering getting the large motorcycle thing that makes no sense that has Captain America in it somehow. Uh, but then I saw this and I'm like, nope, I'm happy with. And with Age of, Age did of any Ultron of you guys Cat. get a set with the Ninjago movie with Lady Iron Dragon in it? No, because that one sucked so, no. too. No, yeah, that one's not skin tone even. That's yellow on black, mm-hmm. and it mm-hmm. is bad. Actually, let me see if I can get a picture of that one as well. You guys oh, talk yeah. about this. It just looks faded. Like it looks, it looks it like it doesn't it had, even look. Yeah, it, it looks it like it had been look, sitting on a yeah. shelf for like five years with lights pointed directly at it. So it just looks like a faded too much it's it just... looks like someone put on a color filter to filter out all the color <laughs> isn't that what a like, color seriously, filter is for I... <laughs> well no the thing is if I if I take my phone filter and put the one on the Captain America on the left in black and white it his face is basically the same color mm. <laughs> as the other the thing Captain is America. though it doesn't, like, there was uh... the, the thing that irked me with the Age of Ultron Captain America was that when it printed on that dark blue head, it looked like the skin tone was very dark. Like I have a picture that I posted earlier in our in our main chat where I compared the Doctor Strange with that Captain America and it just looks yeah. like he kinda like a spray tan. Right? <laughs> Well, I mean, Looks like you got a bad tan. tan. is preferable to just like going albino or Oh yeah, whatever. it is now that I see it here, but it always <laughs> irked me cuz they they've not only been doing it on that minifigure, but they also did it on the I think back then they also did it on the Batman figures. Darn, I, the Lady Iron Dragon one isn't showing up quite as well. Hmm. I don't think you can really see how bad it looks it looks faded in oh i can is see the it problem. yeah it's it's, it's it looks good. green in person <laughs> yeah that's Maybe the thing it looks a lot look greenish <laughs> thing is also in the box art and stuff for this they look totally fine <laughs> <laughs> that's hysterical somebody didn't didn't do a proper quality check but mm. You know. I don't know what is going on, because again, look, it, in Jang's, those are two pictures, like, obviously Ford's Captain America is a bit darker mm-hmm. than it's supposed to be, but I still think that's way preferable. Well, that's a widespread to the problem, new... too. The the dark skin. I mean, well. I prefer uh, it being a little bit too uh, dark. Please don't take that out of context. Too... <laughs> I prefer it being a little bit too dark, though, than the faded look. Because mm-hmm. it the dark doesn't look cheap, it just looks a little bit misprinted. Which yeah, I don't think the, all the Captain Americas were like that either, because if you look at Jang's picture... Well, I think it's because it has, like, all the lights on it. Possibly. But... Cause I yeah, can, I don't I know can, why this is such an issue. Uh, it needs to be resolved. Because I, I know that Jang Briggs has complained in the past about how the skin tone looks too dark on the, the one on the left in the in the original... Like, yeah, it definitely picture. was too dark. I just think that's better than too bright. I mean, yeah, like, I'll deal with it. But I really did want that helmet with the wings on it. Um, and mm-hmm. I did want that, that new head. But if it's so poor, like that poor of a quality, then no, I'm not going to get it. There's got to be a way to fix this. There's no like the way shield. that there's the no solution to re- getting Wait a minute. W- light ink to print properly on a dark surface. Look at the shield. The shield is all like Okay, yeah, the shield up. is weird too. Like the printing is all off. Some other people on Twitter were mentioning that, yeah. and I don't know as much about that. Like, the, because the he wasn't black really around again. the star is, like, not aligned properly, Slightly so off. the white's, like, bleeding into where the blue should be. Come on. <laughs> and yeah, that looks bad, and okay, I don't... There's a little bit of that on the shield on the left. It's, like, a tiny bit misaligned, but on this one, it's much more misaligned. No, the, and the, the shield on the blue left in the is center. fine. Yeah, the blue this, in the center. It's a little bit misaligned. It that might be is but the it's shield not that comes with that set. But right? it is it is only there when I'm looking like for it. Like the one on the right, the, like the, 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 the one star on the right, is the blue is also misaligned. Into the red. No, well the thing is the blue itself is also misaligned. Yeah, it if is. If you see it it's blending slightly yeah, into the Yeah, and then red there's some also. white like on the side. Yeah. <sighs> the one the Captain America shield on the left, I believe is 
a red base while the one on the right is a gray base? What? Why would you make the base a color that isn't in the shield? And maybe... Well, okay, because oh, I think I, I want... It. You know, on the back of the Captain America MCU shield, it's silver. Yeah, because it was originally just silver in the in the first movie. However, it doesn't look good, and it's the wrong color of blue. <sighs> Which, not that we haven't gotten the lighter blue Captain America shield either. We, It's kind of funny. First, we got the darker one. And then for a while, all they would make was the lighter blue shield. Mm-hmm. Even in the darker blue sets. And then they brought back and the dark now, blue one. Yeah, and now it's this. And I do like the black trim around the edge of the... You know, the edge of the shield. But that's the only thing I like about it. It's I'm the only to change. Look at the set on brick set. There it is. Yeah, this is the one that comes with it. It was just not that I didn't believe it before. I just wanted to confirm. It looks better in the promotional picture yet again. <laughs> I wonder why. Again, for your guys' reference, just look at how the printing on this minifigure looks in the promotional. Yeah, like in the promotion, it looks perfect. It looks like the be-all, end-all for Captain America heads. Not I still don't like that though. they all have the same body printing, yeah, though. Yeah, I... I'm and not sure how I feel about the quantum it. suits. Because in the trailer for the movie, they like all have matching headgear for the quantum suits, too. Oh, I haven't seen the trailers. So. You haven't seen any of the trailers? No. I really should, that though. That makes sense. I really should. But yeah, the Keep second one shows these I, I think I'll watch the trailers not... like closer to the release, though. That's usually how it goes. So, yeah, it, they, their suits are not all exactly the same in the trailer. They're similar, but not all exactly the same. Some of them are bigger. Some of them are less bigger. Like rockets. Yes. <laughs> oh, darn, I closed the itinerary, but I think we're on to the game. Yeah. <laughs> we, we're running out of time for the topics. All yep. right. So Ford is hosting the game today, and what do you have for us, Ford? So today we are going to do the Guess the Price game, which I forget the name of. Wait, isn't that the, the, that the one I right? just made up a couple of weeks ago? Yes, I'm going yeah. to try it and see if it works. <laughs> All right. Oh, dear. So, you know the drill. Um, mm. I no, give you don't. a set, and you have to guess game. the price, but you must leave your guesses in PMs, because there can be no cheating. I'd have to find... Now, I believe you have <laughs> exactly one minute to do so. I think that's what we did. So, I will be timing mm. you. For one minute. So, uh, yeah. Yay. Whenever you would like to get started. Um, uh, I just to read uh... off the scoreboard for now, it is myself at six, Maluris at nine, Leo at seven, Orion at two, and Liam at two. <laughs> I kind of want Oops. this to be between. We also me have to mention there's Leo, a three cent lenience period to Gone. Lenience, not period. Lenience in the price to either side. Oh yes, so it's yeah. There's kind of a plus or minus one deviation here and there. Yeah. All right. All right. Are we ready to do this? Yep. Let's go with yes. That's a simpler answer. All right. The first set is the Alpha Team Cruiser. Darn, so this is an older you set, but it has some bigger pieces. Alright, I think I know. Yeah, and old Lego sets have not All aged right. well, and I've we should not bring back classic responses. space and classic castle. <laughs> I'm that's, glad you mentioned That's my it. Lego yeah, fan motto now. Mode. Don't bring back classic Lego themes. I'm sick of people saying it. Absolutely sick of it. I would like what? them to bring back I, there's maybe this, a derivative There's a lot of people in the community right. that say... I've gotten responses from everybody. Wait just a second. I gotta explain this. There's a lot of people in the Lego community, specifically the AFOL community, who all they go on about is how Lego is failing at creativity because they don't have classic space castle or pirates. And because they're not doing classic stuff, they're not being creative. Now, here's and the they thing. Think, they think all they use license themes, ignoring Ninjago and other original things. In fact, we have more variety in Lego than we've ever had before. Yeah, and, and like, you can still buy the old sets. 
Yeah. Like, that's not the but, problem. But they I want think the problem new for them is just, sets. like, they still want to... I, I guess they still want to support the Lego company by buying those sets Maybe from again them directly. There might not be as many original themes as one point, but also within the themes, there are way more sub-themes for different types yeah. of sets. Like, City has, like, everything now. Mm-hmm. There's All more right. stuff in City. There's more stuff in Creator. By the way, when are we getting pictures of the donut shop? I want to see that. <laughs> All right. Well, first up, I gotta t- I gotta read off the uh, I not suck. the answers. All right. So, first one is from. I'm gonna read off LQ's answer first. He, LQ cast ten dollars. That is incorrect. Darn it. Mm. Maluris guessed ten ninety nine. That is also incorrect. Clenda, you guessed oh, ten. Not, that is incorrect. The correct answer was seven dollars. Darn, that's a price tier that really? hasn't existed in forever. Yes. That, I think... almost guessed eight dollars. Oh well. I did not I think I would guess that one. Twenty. Wow. Okay. <laughs> Point for me, I guess. The older, smaller sets are harder to price. All right. Because Is they were really actually excited? affordable. Is. Let me get my timer up. Sorry. I thought you were waiting for a dramatic drama. The dynamic duo Funhouse Escape. Um, oh, I remember this set. Do I remember the price? Do you remember the I price? Don't... I don't even remember My this, this set right. like coming out when it did. My brother has it. Is it any good? Uh, well, it's not the type of set I like. <laughs> it has some of my least favorite minifigure designs. The boring Joker... The boring Riddler, the boring Robin, and Harley Quinn, who I just don't like in general. Called it. All right. Shoot. Shoot, 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 shoot. Also, you notice the Joker has a much more interesting hairpiece in the sticker up above him than he does in the actual minifigure. Oh, yeah. What do you know? How does one imitate that in Lego, though? He's got, like, the points. Well, they, they did it before with the, the Dracula, the old Dracula hairpiece. And the old that. Joker hairpiece. This is the old Joker hairpiece. No, like, the old Joker yeah, hairpiece. Yeah, that's the old vampire hairpiece. All right, that I, is... I he just had the Dracula wrong, hairpiece. But... So, if you haven't submitted a, an answer, okay. All right, first up, we have... LQ guessing 40. That is correct. Yes! Wow. Within one cent. Well, yeah, it's always 99 something, but. Yes. I'm going to go for the even ones. All Three right. points. Morris guessed well, 39.99. That is exactly correct. Uh, it is 39.99. Like Clenda, you guessed $25. I'm sorry. That is incorrect. That's okay. The giveaway there for you were close if it wouldn't have had the train tracks. Okay. Yeah. The train tracks are an expensive piece because they're big. I've never gotten any of the sets with the train pieces. I Actually, I guess my little brother's got a Minecraft set that had those. So. All right. Next up is the Viking Catapult versus the oh, Nidhogg no. Dragon. Hmm. <sighs> This is a pretty good dragon for the time. Yep. Weren't all dragons at that time pretty cool? Wait a minute, is that a Nuva arm piece in Metro Red? What? Where? For his neck. I, it looks like it. Yes. Wait, no, I think that's... I don't know what color that is. That looks like Metro Red. I'll have to look it up later. You have 20 seconds. Oh, Send shoot. in your guesses. Yeah, I've got several interesting Ten seconds. pieces. All right. <laughs> so, in the order I receive them, we have Maluris at 1999. That is correct. Darn it. The price is $20. I'll take it. Darn, I thought for sure it was more expensive than that. LQ guessed $30. That is incorrect. And Clenda guessed $20. That is correct. Darn it, I broke my streak. (laughs) 
I, thought, I just decided I was never going to get it points. It only on took this four game. months, but you finally got a point. <laughs> Congratulations. Yay. Woo. I feel so proud of myself. Right. Now I'm going I to go bumming into the Chicago rounds River. Here. That's past. We're past that. It's Lent now. You can't do that. I can still vomit. All right. Not just can't Lent. do it into the. Yes, I Number can. Four I didn't give that up for Lent. Is one of my favorite underrated uh, Space Police 3 sets. It is. Oh, no. Oh, Squidman's I mean, Hideout! <laughs> or Squidman's oh, Pit Stop, Oh, this sorry. is an awful set. I love wow. it. It's so weird. Oh, boy. Like that one bike with the mohawk? All like, the vehicles are super tiny and incomplete. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the minifigure selection is not exclusive. And the diner is, like, not it's still a cool, diner. Though. Or it's not, not a diner. It's supposed to be a part shop, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Why did we not get an intergalactic diner? That would have been so cool. Yeah. Why have we not got an episode two diner in Star Wars? I want Dex, man. That would because yeah, we have the mold for his species too. Yeah, or we but did at one point at least. It's specific to uh. Krell. Yeah. You could. You could. Uh, I forgot his name for a minute there. <laughs> oh yeah, oh, Clone man, Wars. By the time we put this up, good. Clone Wars is going to be gone off Netflix. Five seconds. Ah uh, shoot. Time. I'm just throwing out numbers. All right, Maluris guessed forty nine ninety nine. That is exactly correct. Wow. LQ guessed fifty. That is correct. Clenda, you guessed forty. I'm sorry. That is incorrect. See you. Mal, what got, search engine are you using? You got closer to what it should be. Actually, this set is incredibly overpriced. It is. It is. This is an awful set. I hate it. It's my <laughs> least favorite Space Police set. Alrighty then. Not that we're opinionated about this right So, anything, So this but... next one I chose because it just sounds so redundant for some reason t to me. It is... Love me some redundancy. Ninja Knights! What? Ninja Knights! Darn it. This is like a really, really <laughs> battle pack. I just, <laughs> don't know what these are priced at. Uh, son of... You see, this one's a Hail Mary. Crud, I don't... Oh, I haven't been putting pictures of any of these in because <laughs> I can't, really. <laughs> they can put them in later, at the same I time. guess. I don't know. I may have to put them in in post. Send me a file full of them. I'm oh, yeah, I will. I have a file folder ready to go. 20 seconds. And, uh, no... Um, no. <laughs> Shoot. Uh, All right. I have no idea what they would have packed. Okay. It, they don't do things like this anymore. First up. That samurai has a musket. Maluris. Guesses. Oh, and he has a chrome gold. Maluris guesses. Thing. $4.99. That is incorrect. Clenda, you guessed $10 with a ton of question marks. That is also incorrect. LQ, My you LQ. guess nah. six dollars. That is correct. Yes. What? <laughs> I did not I think anybody would get five. this one. That was too easy. I, but. I almost guessed eight. I did not think anyone would get this one. So congrats to. to him. And I knew the other one was seven, and that. But you know this it was this doesn't have as many pieces as that one, so it couldn't have been seven, but it couldn't mm. have been five. So what was left? Now six. this next one is just kind of like a grace thing. I, I think everybody's gonna get it, so uh, we shall see. You don't know me that well. It is the city of Atlantis. The I don't city. know this actually. Well, flip. That's a bigger set, definitely. Yes, it's a nice set too. It looks nice, except for the front. Like the back looks better. Don't you love it when sets look better from the back? No, well, I don't know. The very back, that probably sucks. I mean, the back section of uh -huh. it. Thirty seconds. This has the Kalma tentacle in green. Two of them, too. And also has the flame piece in green. It also Shoot, has that small paraca tail in orange. Small paraca tail, where? On the oh, crab guy, not... or the lobster guy, sorry. 
That didn't start off with the Paraka, did it? Didn't that start with man? No, if there's in the place that it did that first come in the Paraka playsets? Yeah. No, I think it came out with uh an undersea thing. Alright, that's time. Maybe I don't know. Um no, it came out with the Paraka and then it's they started using it for like seaweed and stuff the next year. because uh, that's still used to this day. Alright, so LQ, you guessed eighty dollars. That is incorrect. Maluris, you guessed fifty nine ninety nine. That is also incorrect. Oh. Clenda, you guessed seventy. That is correct. What? It is sixty nine ninety nine. Darn. You don't okay, see many sets for that price these days. Yeah. Well, it looked too small to be eighty, but too big to be fifty. So, Clenda. You got two points. You put yourself Yay. on the You almost on the beat Noah Ryan. Ah, uh, <laughs> yes. That is my goal in life. Hey, be thankful. After that, that I have You are succeed. beating Mace now. Yeah. Now I feel bad, because yeah. Mace is cool. Yeah. Mal, do you feel bad for feel beating bad, Mace so hard? With your no, 11 points? because he's not here to make me feel sorry for him. Wow. The thing is, though... We're talking to him like all the time, mm -hmm. but he just hasn't got his microphone out of storage. <laughs> That's a shame. So, we miss me. All right, I don't look forward to the post editing on this now because I got to put pictures in like the old days. Mm -hmm. Rip. If I would have remembered earlier. Sorry. <laughs> all right. And, well, it's a little few minutes early, but. That's gonna about do it for us today. As always, please leave likes and comments below. They're great for getting this stuff promoted to YouTube likes and there's engagement with the videos. And you can share your thoughts as well. And that's always a good thing to do. Don't be, you know, an, an anti-social weirdo. Like you? <laughs> not like us. Hey, I'm not anti-social. <laughs> okay, no, that's so just literally everybody else on the podcast. Six now. I don't know. Mal is like better at not being antisocial now. I'm antisocial. Cool. Better. It's not good. good for you. <laughs> yeah, we had a bunch of April Fool's Day stuff. That's all wrapped up now. You can go and check. So yeah, again, I want to mention our patrons up above there. And yeah, is my forgetting anything? Oh yes, Mal. How are those mugs coming? Um. They are coming along splendidly, you know? Has anyone gotten theirs yet? No. No. Because <laughs> I need to discuss uh, shipment arrangements with them. Oh. So you're at the shipment. Because those if are they the patron ones. So also, we're supposed to send out the patron rewards this month. All right. That that will be way easier. <laughs> Do I it. hope everyone entered their address in on... Uh, Patreon. If you haven't, like please do three so. three people, I believe, that are up there yes. to get it. If you haven't and you're getting the, the stuff, please. It's please not too it. late, actually, to sign up for one of these uh, physical rewards. We're going to be giving out for, I think, the next two or three months for the $5 tier. If So if you sign up for the $5 it, tier within the next few months, basically until we run out or we start the next yeah. exclusive reward. Yeah, then Depends you, on you how long one. we got them. Yeah. For. But I think they're pretty cool. So he, he keeps on saying this, but they're we'll see what the nice. people think of them. <laughs> it's they're a nice. place for help. Don't you think they're cool? I think they're I do. cool, yeah. but, but like... I just like mugs. No, not the mugs. No, You're not getting not the mugs. mugs. This Darn is the patron it. reward. It's oh, never patron. mind. It's the other thing. You, do you remember what the other thing was? I think so. Okay. Yeah. It's much smaller than a mug. <laughs> much but more I think it's very cool. <laughs> oh, yes. right. Mug. Sorry, I it just like clicked what it was. I, I just remembered. We all were talking about <laughs> It'll be somebody real said soon. the word mug. I just wanted it to be a surprise for some people. Of course, some people don't like surprises. I've learned other things I've released. You see, Especially I would when you, get uh, one hype and then put up. it in a no place returns, where please. my mom won't notice it. Because she'll what? never notice it. <laughs> what? What? One of the, the surprise uh, gifts, if I could get one. Okay. Oh. If I Why can't Lita? your mom notice it? What's up? Why can't your mom notice well, it? Well, you, you put something in plain sight, and she'll just never notice it. I thought that was just with men. No, that's my mom. 
Uh, we we got this like Hershey's so men and like Hershey's chocolate like plaque thing, like a a while back. She still hasn't noticed that. We got it like years ago. Huh. She's never acknowledged his presence, ever. Well then. <laughs> And it's, so yeah, check and out it's our like, Patreon it's awards on, today. It's like on our refrigerator. Like you'd think you'd notice it. <laughs> so, for Ford, Clenda, Malaris, and myself, LQ, we thank you for listening, and we'll see you on the next episode. Have a good Goodbye. one. Bye.